Good morning, boys and girls. Our story today is A Pocket for Corduroy by Don Freeman. This kind of book is called A Paperback. I can bend it. This is the spine of the book. This is the front of the book. And this is the back of the book. So let's dig right in. Late one summer afternoon, Lisa and her mother took their laundry to the laundromat. As always on such trips, Lisa carried along her toy bear, Corduroy. Do you know what a laundromat is? You do? Well, some of us have to take our clothes to a place with a whole lot of washing machines and uh, clothes dryers, and that's called a laundromat. The laundromat was a very busy place at this hour. Ooh, there's a lot of people there. Now, Corduroy, you sit right there and wait for me, Lisa said. I'm going to help with our wash. That's nice of her to help her mom. Do you ever help your mom? Moms need a lot of help. Maybe just pick up your toys. They would like that. Corduroy waited patiently, and then suddenly he perked up his ears. Do you know what perked means? <gasps> He's paying attention. Lisa's mother was saying, be sure to take everything out of the pockets, Lisa, dear. You don't want your precious things to get all wet and soapy. I've left things in my pocket before, accidentally. Have you? Pockets? said Corduroy to himself. I don't have a pocket. He slid off the chair. I must go find something to make a pocket out of, he said, and he began to look around. Do you have pockets? I don't think I have pockets today. First, he came to a pile of fancy towels and washcloths, but nothing was the right size or color. Look how pretty those are. Can you see? Those are nice. Then he saw a huge stack of colorful clothes in a laundry bag. There ought to be something in there to make a pocket out of, he said. You see him standing there? Without hesitating, he climbed inside the bag which was which was filled with pieces of wet laundry. The dampness didn't bother Corduroy in the least. This must be a cave, he said, sighing happily. I've always wanted to live in a dark, cool place. When the time came for Lisa to fetch her bear, <gasps> he was gone. Oh, Mommy! She exclaimed, Corduroy isn't where I left him. Oh, I'm sorry, honey, said her mother, but the laundromat will be closing soon and we must be getting home. <gasps> I bet little Lisa was all worried. Lisa was reluctant to leave without Corduroy, but her mother insisted. You can come back tomorrow, she said. I'm sure he'll be here. As they left, a young man wearing an artist's beret, that's a type of hat, was taking his wet laundry out of the bag, the very bag that Corduroy had discovered. Before he knew it, Corduroy was being tossed together with all the sheets, shirts, shorts, and slacks. Do you see him in the bag? He's peeking out. But just as the artist was shutting the glass door, Corduroy tumbled out. How in thunder did that ever get mixed up with my things? The artist wondered. Poor Corduroy was damp all over. 
The best I can do for him is give his overalls a good drying, said the man thoughtfully. He unbuttoned Corduroy's shoulder straps and put his overalls in the dryer. Isn't that nice of him? Corduroy grew dizzy as he watched the clothes spinning around, but the artist became inspired. Ooh, that's a juicy word. Inspired. That means that it's giving you the want to do something else. This would make a wonderful painting, he said, as he took out a sketch pad out of his pocket and began drawing the swirling colors. Swirling. I can hardly wait to get back to my studio. Finally, the dryer stopped whirling and the man gathered up all of the clothes. Then he helped Corduroy put on his warm, dry overalls. All at once, the manager of the laundromat clothed, Closing time! Everybody out! Oh my goodness, what do you think Corduroy's gonna do? <gasps> what do you think will happen next? <gasps> you might be right. Corduroy was gently placed on top of a washing machine. I wonder who that bear belongs to, said the artist as he was leaving. Seems to me he should have his name someplace. He's too fine a fella to be lost. As soon as the lights were turned off, Corduroy began his search again. He was surprised to see something white glowing in the dark. Maybe it's snow, thought Corduroy. I've always wanted to play in the snow. What do you think it is? I think it's soap. Have you ever seen powdered soap that you put in your washing machine? He accidentally tipped over the open lidded box and suddenly he was covered with soft, slippery soap. Corduroy began to slip and slide. Oh, what fun, he said. I've always wanted to ski down a steep mountain slide. Do you see him? Oh my goodness, he looks like he's having a good time. He landed, paws first, in an empty laundry basket. Oh, this must be a cage, he said, peeking through the bars. I've never wanted to live inside a cage like a bear at the zoo. But by now, Corduroy felt drowsy, and soon he nodded off to sleep. So drowsy must mean tired or sleepy. The next morning when the manager came to open the door of the laundromat, there was Lisa. I, I left something here yesterday, she explained. Can, can I look around? Why, certainly, said the manager. My customers are always leaving things. Lisa was searching under the chairs and in back of the washing machines when she heard the manager call her. Is this what you're looking for, senorita? <gasps> Can you see? Who's in the basket? Yes, yes, it is. It's my best friend, shouted Lisa as she came running. She reached in and picked Corduroy out of the basket. So this is where you've been hiding, you little rascal. It's time I took you home. Lisa thanked the manager and ran out of the door and down the street, holding Corduroy tightly in her arms. I thought I told you to wait for me. Why did you wander off? I went looking for a pocket, said Corduroy. Oh, Corduroy, why didn't you tell me you wanted a pocket? Asked Lisa, giving him an affectionate squeeze. That means a hug. That very morning, Lisa sewed a pocket on Corduroy's overalls. And here's a card I've made with your name on it to keep inside your pocket, she said. 
I've always wanted a purple pocket with my name tucked inside, said Corduroy, as he and Lisa nuzzled noses. The end. Do you know what nuzzled means? If you just go like this when you're hugging someone. And that brings up the question of the day. Our question of the day is have you ever lost something? Hmm, let's think about it. You can put underneath in the chat, have your parents type what you've lost.